Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another reaction video. It's your boy Jesse Keegan And your girl Fanny Lungu And we are Fanny and Jesse. Jesse So today we're going to do another reaction video And this one right here we're going to do Dr. Zaki Naik, your favorite No, he's not my favorite <laughs> This time around, he's in Nigeria So we're going to react to Quran refers to more huh? Quran refers to more than one God as what? We As we Yes, so without any further ado, guys, let's get it. I greet all the dignitaries who have graced this occasion. Uh, good afternoon, Dr. Zakir Nai. I greet my fellow student. I'm a 300 level student of mass communication, Nasra State University, KP. My name is uh, Adjoint Theophilus Yakubu. Um, <laughs> in the course of your sermon, Dr. Zakir Nai. <laughs> what's, what's your name, brother? My name is uh, Adjoint Theophilus Yakubu. Yakub? Yes, sir. Yes. Are you a Muslim or a Christian? I'm a Christian. Okay, yes, brother. Continue. Um, in the course of your uh, sermon, you gave the concept of God in different uh, religions, which uh, Islam is one of them, which you say Islam believe in Tawhid, which means Islam believe in one God. And in many uh, verses in the Quran, you uh, see that when God is uh, speaking, he used the pronouns of we, we. Even when he was creating, like in Quran chapter 95 verse 4, he says that we created man in the best design. He used that uh, pronoun as in we, uh, which means that it is not only one, it was not only one divine being that was speaking, which means there are, he was with other beings. You understand? I understand your question very well. I'll give the reply. Brother Yaqub, Brother Yakub. Yes, sir. I know Christian are called Jacob. First time I'm meeting a Christian called Yakub. <laughs> Half Muslim already. Inshallah. We pray to Allah to give you Daya. Imagine. You already changed from Jacob to Yakub. Now, from a true from a false Christian to a true Christian, inshallah. Brother Yakub has asked a question that the Quran says we. The Arabic word he wanted to tell is Nahnu, we. The Arabic word is Nahnu, which means we. So when the Quran refers to we, doesn't it mean more than one God? So even the Quran talks about multiple gods. That's the question. Let me remind you, brother Yaqub. Do you know English well? Yes. Do you know in English language, there are two types of plural. One is the plural of number. If there are more than one, we say we. One is the plural of respect. When the Queen of England speaks, she says we. When the royal family, when the ro have you heard the Queen of England speaking? Or the King of England, Prince King Charles? No, he will not say I, he will say we. Even in Urdu, Urdu, there is plural of number, plural of respect. When someone of the royal family, he will not say my, he will say hum, we. So anyone from the royal family, when they speak, in, in most of the languages, whether it be English, whether it be Urdu, whether it be other languages, most of the languages there are two types of plural. One is plural of number and the other is plural of respect. So if you have not heard the Queen of England speaking or the King of England speaking, they say we, they are one. How many King of England do we have? One. one. But he says we. So this is the language. If you don't know language, what can I do? <laughs> the same thing in Arabic in Arabic when Allah says Nahnu when Allah is saying we no Arab will say there are two gods or three gods um, because the Arab knows Arabic second. Arab knows Arabic you know English so you should understand that this is also royal plural hope that answers the question can I say something have you understood the answer I understand what you say so do you understand the Quran refers to we as a royal royal plural one single correct Yes, but I want to say something. If you have a next question, no problem. First say, okay, thank you. I've understood the first answer. Then you can go to the next question. Unless you don't say understood the first question, I will not allow you to ask the next question. I understand. Very good. Good. But I want to now you something. can ask the next question. Um, uh, like during the creation, when Allah is creating the earth. Because Sorry? During the creation? Yes, when Allah is creating the earth, he used the, just like we say, he used we. 
like creation, it is only God that is capable of creating other things. So why didn't he use that I created man in the best de uh, design instead of using that way? Because I he's told, the only one. I told you the answer, yet you're asking the same answer. Why did Allah not say I? That's Allah's wish. When Prince, when King Charles is speaking, sometimes he says I, sometimes he says we. That's his prerogative. <laughs> Who am I to interfere? Are you God? God can call, sometimes he calls I, sometimes he calls we. That is the beauty. Why did he do that? That's God. Correct. I'm, I'm a doctor, correct? Sometimes people call me Sheikh Zakir, no problem. Sometimes people call me Akhi Zakir, brother Zakir, no problem. Sometimes people call me Dr. Zakir. Oh, why don't you call him doctor always? I have no problem. Why do you have a problem? Do you understand? Yes. I'm a doctor, medical doctor and a PhD doctor, both. Correct? <coughs> now when someone calls me Sheikh Zakir, no problem. Someone calls me Akhi Zakir, no problem. Brother Zakir, no problem. So when Allah wants, sometimes he uses he, sometimes he uses that. So what's your problem? So now, now you are half Muslim. Do you believe there is one God? Now do you believe there is one God? I believe there is, God is uh, one in being and three in person. That's what I believe because I'm a Christian. You, you believe in Trinity? Yes, sir. Can you point out one verse in the Bible which speaks about Trinity? The Trinity doesn't exist in the Bible. Do you know that? <laughs> the word Trinity doesn't exist in the Bible. But, but the word Trinity is in the Quran. Do you know that? Do you know that, that the word Trinity doesn't exist in the Bible? You give me reference, I will agree. Tell me one place where the Bible says the word Trinity. Even what the Quran though, says. Even though there is not the word Trinity in the Bible. This is the problem. But you don't follow the Bible. I follow the Bible. But that I that. follow Bible more than you. That's the reason I said. Brother Yaqub. Mm -hmm. Therefore I said, I'm more Christian than you because I follow Bible more than what you follow. Okay. You talk let, about let, our let me educate you. Talk. Let me educate you. The Bible doesn't talk about Trinity. Quran talks. Quran says in Surah Nisa, chapter 4, verse number 171, salasa. Don't say Trinity. They say stop it. It's better for you. Quran is telling you, don't say Trinity. The word Trinity is in the Quran. Stop it. It's better for you. Quran repeats the message in Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 53. Lakat kafra ladhina kalu inna lahu salisu salasa. They are doing kufr. They are blaspheming. Those who say God is three in one. Trinity. But why so, is it that... Uh, Tawhid, let me finish. Tawhid is not mentioned in the Let Quran. me finish. Tawhid is not mentioned. Do you want to learn about the Bible or not? You are not telling me anything. I'm a Christian, Christian, not following Bible. I'm teaching you what the Bible don't want to listen. That means you're interested in becoming a better Christian, correct? When someone is talking to you about the Bible, you want to keep. This is the problem. Can I that say means you're programmed to create problem, correct? Can I say something? You know you cannot say. Okay. Uh, you cannot say because I want to educate you. You are saying I believe in Trinity, something which the Bible doesn't say. So how come you said you're a Christian? You mentioned Tawheed. But can you give me one verse from the Quran that uh, mentioned Tawheed? So that I just want to know. Kul Wallawad! Kul Wallawad! Say that one verse! Surah Ikhlas! Surah Ikhlas! Chapter number 112! Verse number 1! Kul Wallawad! Say the Allah one and only! What is the problem? You didn't mention Tawhid when you are reciting. Yes, it is. Ahad. No. When? He just, it's he just he didn't mention the Tawhid in that verse that he caught it. I have been telling you, Kulwa Lawa, that means so. The word, I, I, the, I mean I the, word, the, the word, the word Tawhid is not in the Quran. The word Tawhid, it is not in the Quran. Can you give it me one verse? It comes from the word Wahada. If I say the word Wahada is there, Wahada. I Tawhid, Tawhid, Tawhid. Tawhid is the Arabic word coming from the root word Wahada. Means believing in unification. The word Wahada is in the Quran. If you don't know Arabic words, you have heard from some Christian Vishnu saying, so it is not, then you're repeating. The word Wahada is in the Quran. You, understand? you don't know. You don't know Arabic, that's your problem. 
I'm still insisting there is no the word I'm telling you this then. You know Arabic, guys. Right? You don't know Arabic. The word Wahada is there in the Quran. Wahada is the origination of the word Tawheed, meaning to unite, to unify, to consolidate. Now, coming to your question of Trinity. The one verse in the Bible which doesn't say Trinity, but some very close, close to Trinity, is first epistle of John. Chapter number 5, verse number 7. For there are three that bear record in heaven. The Father, the Holy Ghost, and the Word. And these three are one. First epistle of John. Chapter number 5, verse number 7. For there are three that bear record in heaven. The Father, the Holy Ghost, and the Word. And these three are one. This is the closest. But do you know, according to the scholars of Christianity, even this verse is a fabrication. So in the Revised Standard Version, this was first epistle of John, chapter number 5, verse number 7, has been removed from the Bible as a fabrication, as a concoction, as an interpolation. By whom? Not by Muslims, not by Hindus, by Thaidu scholars of the highest eminence, backed by 50 different corporate denominations. If you read the RSV Bible, Revised Standard Version of the Bible, this verse has been thrown out from the Bible. Because Jesus Christ, peace be upon when you are last. Jesus Christ, peace be upon, clearly mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 28, my father is greater than I, Gospel of John, chapter number 10, verse number 29, my father is greater than all, Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 12, verse number 28, I cast out devil with the spirit of God, Gospel of Luke, chapter number 11, verse number 20, I with the finger of God cast out devil, Gospel of John, chapter number 5, verse number 30, I can of my own self do nothing, either here I judge, and my judgment is just, for I seek not my will, but the will of my father. He never claimed divinity when he was asked which is the first of the commandment. It's mentioned in the Gospel of Mark, chapter number 12, verse number 29. Shema Israelo, Adnel Haino Adnel Your O Israel, the Lord of a God is one God. Can we have the next question? <laughs> I think you should really, really be tough to ask a question in a crowd like this. Yeah. Because something else this guy was just cooking himself but do you he gave the example of the queen but when the queen says we we know that there are people behind making the decisions with yeah. the queen yeah so in as much as islam or the quran has certain things that we outsiders are agreeing with that we is forever a conflict it when is, it comes yeah. to me true because what am i going to say okay we have accepted for you to come stay over do you understand who's we you have to have discussed it with someone made that decision and said okay fine and you hence the we it doesn't make sense or even the school saying we have decided to do this i don't know that's just my thought you yeah. uh first of all man if if if, if you're going to this kind of congregation okay, number one number one be prepared know who you're facing number one know who you're facing because you're facing somebody who's well uh knowledgeable who has probably has more knowledge than you when it comes to religious text <clears throat> another thing but the whole point of asking someone who's knowledgeable is for me to learn yes to learn but the way he was asking those questions it's as if he uh he what it's as if he had a knowledge of whatever he's asking also because the thing is if you're asking something you need to back you need to back yourself too because he he explained these questions and then the guy kept on going and going. He could have stopped from that point. He doesn't have to. Yeah, he doesn't have to, but he could have at least just try to okay, try to understand and <clears throat> ask a question without making it look like it's correct when you don't have the text itself. Not even that. And ending I, up being corrected. I would expect him to just keep quiet after asking <clears throat> the question to just hear what Yes. That the Zakina okay. has to say. That's how yeah. learning goes. You don't just interject, interject, interject. Exactly. So moral of the story, always be prepared. Always be prepared. 
So, okay, another thing. I really don't agree with what Dr. Zekenaiko was talking about. We, about the, uh, what do you call this? The queen and all those kind of stuff. Yeah, I understand some, at some point, I really kind of wanted to understand where, when, when you want to feel like humble, when you want to feel like, um, what do you call this? When, 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 let's say, for example, you you have a team okay but because you're the leader and you're in front of the people you can't say i made this thing happen and i have all those kind of stuff you kind of have to humble yourself down and say we okay and um and again let let us not forget that we're dealing with the word of we're dealing with english here english is so abingus one word can mean this Anyone can come up with a well, with the with the word, and he will just say this means that, and everybody's gonna follow. So the thing is this: um, <clears throat> I really don't agree with that. If it's I, let it be I. I don't know. Exactly. You know, yes. yeah. If it's I, let it be I. This thing about we now we are we are confusing people now. Once you start talking about these kind of things, then it's like. You, you're having another scapegoat somewhere else. If someone asks you this, you'll say, no, but there's we here. Why can't we have like a standard version of just one, a language that just explains things straightforward instead of just having this different variation of, 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 of words, which but, English failed at some point. But according English to failing. what we learned in school, we is more than one person. Exactly. They, not once did they teach us saying the yes. royal we. Like the royals. Uh, so does it mean that it's only the royals that use we and the normal people don't use we? I don't know. I'm just saying. But the thing is, English language is just... Uh, I don't know. I think I've said this before. That's why it's better it's just to just stick language. to the original language. Don't translate yeah. if it's the Bible, the Quran, whatever it is from its you original know, language. Very true. So, so anyway, all this? Uh, again, the way <laughs> you see, not that I hate Doctor Zaki Knight, I I I, I kind of like him, but the thing is, the way he tackles things, it makes you feel like you don't know anything. <laughs> Do you know English? Do you know English, <laughs> bro? Come on, man, you don't have to attack somebody like that. Just come slow. <laughs> Do you know? Even you, even you yourself, you feel, you feel what you feel kind of weird because a whole scholar, the person that I really admire, is instead of just trying to be nice to me, he's trying to be rough on me and all those kind of stuff. But anyway, maybe that's that's how he is anyway. But the thing is, um, you don't have to agree on each and everything he says. And once again, um, I don't know. M most of the people might want to follow him agree with what he's is talking about which is preaching the word of islam and another thing is the first counter was when he noticed the guy's name is yakub he already asked are you a muslim or a christian do you understand maybe that's a signature way of him uh, attacking questions or maybe trying to understand somebody before anything else but in life uh, let's try to you see the moment you ask somebody let's say for example i've encountered this i walk down the streets or maybe i'm walking with people and then the first thing someone comes and asks me are you a muslim or christian you know what that makes me think that you're already creating a division stereotype. yes you're, you're creating a stere stereotype and you're already creating a division where you will limit yourself to do things or to do something or if if not limiting you are putting you want to put me in that category do you understand you want, you want to put me somewhere so uh, i don't know i feel like come on man i understand it's a show you have to identify people but in real life i hope he doesn't do that i hope in real life it's more like you know we are all but one. don't you feel like we also do the same thing you're at that house party, uh, someone sounds like you and you're like, are you Kenyan? I know it's, yeah, I know it's, it's what? We, we, we're, we're trying to classify people or trying to 
um, I mean, identify or you're trying to get identity. But the thing is this. I think um, I was just it's, trying it's not, to make light of the moment. Do you understand? Yeah, but, but all I'm saying is um, it doesn't have to be like that. Do you understand? Because if someone comes and asks you, you're Muslim or Christian already, automatically you, 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 you know that there's some sort of indoctrination somewhere. Do you understand? I mean, why can't we just be people who just live together and not try to push the religious aspect okay. of things? Yes, you know, and that we're going to live as better humans. Anyway, anyway mm -hmm. and let us know what you guys think. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. And we'll see you in our next reaction video. And deuces. <laughs>